Technology continues to transform virtually every industry these days, and that certainly applies to healthcare. There's an especially big demand in the medical field for workers who can analyze data, and one Dallas physician is leading an effort enabling people to get paid to learn the skill. Dan Godwin has this of Fox Forward. To make healthcare more available at a lower cost, it really helps to look at the numbers and figure out who is being treated where, and for what, and for how long. The field is known as data analytics, and there's a real shortage in the healthcare industry of people with this skill. But one Dallas physician has a plan that allows people to train for the job and get paid while they learn how to do it. Great to say hello to Dr. Katie Jarvis, a family practice physician who's worked at a number of hospitals and nursing homes. Thanks for coming in. It's great to be here. So, data analytics. If you've got the training, the healthcare industry really wants you. Why is the skill so in demand right now? Well, data analysts answer really important questions for hospitals. Patient flow, they help answer uh, causes of diseases, treatment of diseases, and also public health emergencies. At a time frame when there's a shortage of doctors and there's a shortage of nurses, we really need to make this a more efficient process, and data analysts can, can do that for us. So in addition to being a doctor, you also launched this small tech company called Bed Beacon. You looked around at your industry and saw this real shortage of mm -hmm. data analysts. So you created a, an apprentice program that enables people to learn this skill and get paid for it. And you recently got the approval of the federal government, the Labor Department, right? Absolutely. The Labor Department was wonderful in helping us uh, develop this program. So it's the first public health apprenticeship program in the country. The apprentice program takes two years. You learn right alongside people already established in the field. The wages are set by the U.S. government. Again, the Labor Department and another bonus, once they're finished with the apprentice program, they graduate without debt. And what you're doing is you're going to other health care companies, providers around North Texas and beyond saying, hey, here's the structure for this apprentice program. Feel free to go ahead and use it and you are receiving a, a favorable response from them. Absolutely. In fact, we anticipate training hundreds to thousands of apprentices in the next few years. And as far as educational background for those who do sign up, an associate's degree would be sufficient. All right, Dr. Katie Jarvis, thank you so much for the chat. Best of luck. For more information about the Public Health Data Analytics Apprentice Program, we've got a link at our website as well as an email address to ask questions. Just go to fox4news.com forward slash links.